calm before the storm, y'all. We are getting some intermittent sun today, but tomorrow we are forecasted to have hurricane-like rains from Hurricane Hillary that is coming out of Mexico up through Southern California. We haven't been hit yet, but it's forecasted tomorrow. So today I went into town, got my power stations charged up, and right now I am working on getting more solar into my van powers. I am going to clean up everything, including Winston's playpen tonight, and put it in the rooftop box so I have everything put away and covered up. I just took my shower. I'm going to consolidate my water. I have my towels drying, my shower drying, because that will go in my rooftop box. I already have my sink ready to go. So I'm just making sure that I get everything done that I need to today while the weather's nice. So tomorrow I don't have anything to stress about and we can just hang out in the van. So I'm listening to my Arizona Diamondbacks today. We have a double header because they actually moved the game from tomorrow to today because of Hurricane Hillary. And that's how serious it's supposed to be. Now, we are right on the edge of the forest road where we can go out to the highway, and there is actually grass I've been driving through so I can avoid the mud. So I'm not worried about getting stuck or anything like that. And the forest floor that we are camped on right now won't get as muddy as other locations around us. So all about being prepared, being aware, and watching that forecast. I had just gotten done putting stuff in my rooftop box and it started to rain out of nowhere. So that was good timing. This is all I have left. Now I put my sink away, my shower away, and I had my towels drying on my chair, but it was under my trunk so it didn't get wet. Winston just ate dinner. Now I bleached out my trash can and I also put Grandpa Gus in there and that has been keeping the critters away. You okay, Bob? I'm heating up my dinner in my hot logic right now. The van is looking like a vibe too. It's about four o'clock. The sun is coming back out a little bit, so I'm hoping I can get maybe like an hour more on my solar. That would be dope. We just woke up. It's like 9 a.m. Making my coffee. Ugh. It's gonna be a gloomy day, but we're not expecting the rains to come in until like three o'clock. What do you think, Bubba? Is that good? Is that good dental? Is that tasty? I might be a rebel and have two cups of coffee today. Hi, you want to snuggle? Come here. Where are you getting that bug? You get it. So, I haven't had a good solar the last few days. And my big 1500 watt van powers unit does not efficiently charge up via my van. So it died this morning and my van powers is what powers my fridge. So once again, Maddie bailed me out. I put his big anchor on my driver's side uh, floor and it has my fridge plugged into it. So I'm heading home tomorrow. So that is a 
fine temporary solution. We obviously do not have sun today as we await the hurricane rains. They are forecasted to hit around 2 p.m. today. The weather today is so weird. It's like, oh, hurricane, it's coming, it's coming. And it's, we've had intermittent sun. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Originally, it said rain at 2 o'clock, but it's almost 2 o'clock now, and the radar is not showing big rain until 4 o'clock now. So we'll see if all my preparation was necessary or not. But I did get out my umbrella and I have it ready because according to the forecast, once again, it's supposed to rain all evening and I will need that to take Winston out. So we'll find out in no time. I guess it did start. <laughs> I got everything put away except for my trash can and a water jug outside, but both of those are sealed. It's about... 3 p.m. and we'll see if it stays like this or what the deal is going to be. But I've been preparing so we are going to hang out, probably listen to a podcast. We had a brief reprieve in the rain for about 30 minutes which was perfect timing because I was able to feed Winston and let him go out but I think the worst of it is about to hit us it is about 4 45 very dark out <laughs> I had to put my light on and I don't think it's going to stop the rest of the day it's coming down y'all Later than expected today, but it is coming down. I just had to close my trunk uh, because it's heavy enough to where the rain was probably going to start coming in the van. I didn't want that to happen. It got chilly too. The weather or the temperature dropped considerably. I have dinner heating up right now in my Hot Logic. Have a uh, my fan on because even though it got kind of chilly outside. It got really humid. <laughs> so Winston is passed out. Winston doesn't mind storms, thunder. He's not afraid. He could care less. So he is asleep. Speaking of thunder, there's the thunder. But I'm glad I got so much done today to prepare. I really, Maddie and I both really had our eyes on the forecast. Like, when's it coming? When's it coming? Kind of kept getting later and later. But it is here and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow as well. I also know that Quartzite has been getting hit really hard, but we need it. We need the rain really badly. It is 59 degrees out, y'all, at 10 a.m. 59 in August in Arizona. Pretty cool. Not even complaining. We got steady rain <clears throat> throughout the night and um, very gloomy today and rainy, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, Winston and I are headed. What is? Are you getting cozy back there? We are headed back to the valley today. I have some house sitting for my mom to do this week because she's in Europe, so I will be doing that. And then I'll probably be back in the van uh, by the weekend. Now, uh, since Matt, Maddie did bail me out with his anchor power station for my fridge, what I would have done in a situation like this if I didn't have that backup is I would have just gone to like Little America Travel Center or McDonald's or something like that. Um, 
Hold on, Maddie's calling me. All right, Maddie was just calling me to uh, give me a couple of reminders about the dirt road headed out here. But for my van powers to get it charged up, I would have just gone to like a fast food restaurant or a bookstore or something like that with an outlet so I could have charged up my van powers. So it wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, there's plenty of options. I could have even gone to like a campground with electricity for a night because I carry an extension cord and an extension cord with a surge protector. So I could have charged up my power stations that way as well. But in the meantime, Winston is snuggly. We are ready to get back to the valley. I have a lot of cleaning to do, uh, especially from the rain this last day, but um, that's okay. It's all part of my reset process. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and Winston and I will see you next time.